Uh, let's start with talking about the US election. So I've been asked, Neil, <laughs> word for word, by the way, Neil, where is your spine? Who are you going to vote for or who would you vote for in the US elections? Don't say it depends, word for word. All right, so let's start by doing this. All right, so I'm going to post this here. It's on my Facebook page, okay? So we can make this interactive. Here you go. If, you've not, if you're not friends with me on Facebook yet, what the fuck are you playing about? I mean, what the hell are you doing? So that's for our debate, all right? So here's my take on it. I'm going to turn my camera off. Here we go. So, um, I am not pro either candidate at all. Uh, I believe that business runs the government and that um, the government is a puppet of big business. And therefore, elections are really to a degree, smoke screens, uh, and really what matters as far as policy goes is the big businesses and who they're supporting, okay? So I want to kind of put that out there first. And I would also say that in a country of 330 million people, the fact that um, we end up with two septuagenarians, Trump and Biden, either of which may well not make it to the frigging election, never mind make make a four-year term, um, it's just beyond me. How on earth we ended up with them? If it were me, and I had a choice, and of course I don't, because who gives a fuck what I think, uh, then uh, I like, as people, not their policies, as people, uh, Bernie Sanders and Tulsi Gabbard. So I like those two, because um, they're interesting as people, and they seem to be very, very high integrity, and they are constantly saying the same thing rather than flip-flopping back and forth. So regardless of what your you know, political persuasion is, I reckon uh, if I had the vote and I could choose, it would be Tulsi or Bernie, and that would be, that would be my gig, all right? So depending on what you think about that, it's entirely up to you. However, if I had the vote, I would vote for Joe Biden. Now, I don't have the vote, but if I did, I would vote for Biden, specifically for the Democrats. Why? Pretty simple. Um, based on my own situation, pragmatic analysis of the policies that they're talking about, I reckon for me personally, um, the Democrats would be a better bet for the next four years for me. Um, yeah, I reckon they'd be a better bet. So here's why. Let me kind of break it down for you and explain why. So Trump has a trade war with China. And whatever you think about that, um, as far as long term for the for America to make America great again, whatever the hell you want to think, uh, ultimately short term for, for me as a seller on Amazon who sources a lot of my shit from China, it's actually not good. It's not good for a trade war. It actually historically lowers um, GDP. Anytime there's a big trade war going on, it lowers GDP. That's not good. People don't buy. Not good for me as a seller on Amazon. So trade war, and I'm not into that. Trump's all about trade wars. And so I don't get that big, very good thing. Uh, also, I sell on Amazon. Trump and Bezos are not on good terms. Those two guys, the egos are strong between them. And so it isn't very good. Um, and Trump has repeatedly and consistently gone after Bezos, uh, USPS, United States Postal Service, for instance. He very, very explicitly said, and it's true, by the way, that um, Bezos got wealthy on the back of USPS, which is true, and uh, that he thought there should be some kind of quid pro quo with regards to that, which you can argue is very, very true. Um, but outside of the veracity of that statement, then um, anything happening with Jeff with regards to influencing his business on Amazon directly influences me and my ability to sell and therefore not good. So I want somebody who's pro Jeff Bezos because that's good for me, okay? And Jeff, of course, is 
demolishing Trump in the Washington Post. It's not good. So I don't want that. Um, Trump also favors protectionism. So that's been evidenced with this whole kind of TikTok and all that kind of shit, uh, which is clearly just a protectionist thing to help out Facebook. Very, very clear. That's what that was, as evidenced by what actually happened with regards to TikTok and the outcome of that, whereby there was crony capitalism demonstrated at its best. I'm not about protectionism. I'm not about make things in America. I'm about global economy and uh, doing what's best globally to encourage trade around the world. And so because of that, that's not so good for me. Uh, and also, Trump has stated that he wants a weak US dollar um, because, and he's right, uh, it would help investment into America and uh, it would help with a lot of other things that their country needs right now because of their debt mountain. Um, so he wants a weak US dollar to help their economy. And that is absolutely right. But for me, as a seller on Amazon.com, that's not good. I don't want a weak US dollar. I want a very strong US dollar because I get paid in US dollars. And so I want to keep that shit as strong as possible so that the US dollars I earn in America are worth as much money as possible when I transfer it into my own currency. Okay. So that's kind of gives you some of the insights. Notice all of this is policy, policy, policy. I don't give a rat's ass about Trump. I don't give a rat's ass about Biden. Who gives a shit about those guys? They're puppets. It's irrelevant. But as far as policy goes, I believe that to have the Democrats in office would be better for me as a entrepreneur selling on Amazon, living an international life. That's better for me. What do you reckon? What would you think is going to be better for you?